Disclaimer, this video may contain flashing lights, so if you're sensitive to that, I'm sorry. Hello and welcome to Minecraft Fractions Part 2. In the stream, uh, last few days, we built a new road, or basically <laughs> the main road of my, um, yeah, town, city, whatever. And this, yeah, this time, there's going to be the first building for the road. Now here's the problem, I can't turn around because I already built it before I made the intro, so, uh, yeah. Here's the time lapse for that. <laughs> And the building is done, finally. <laughs> ah, well, finally took me half an hour, I guess. Uh, the resource gathering was pain though. Anyway, down here there can be... I removed these because I want to move them in uh, in a second. Down here can be 12 farmers. That's more than enough, I think. Last time I had 13 or 14. And up here can be 14 librarians. That's definitely enough for all the important stuff. So... Yeah, now to the next part, moving the villages in. I only have enough um, enough railway to get up to this point, but I think two batches would be enough to go right there. Maybe I have to craft another few, but we'll see. So, yeah, see you after I moved in the villages. The villages are now all in place. Oh, <laughs> forgot to remove some redstone blocks here. Uh, the villagers are now all in place, and I also try to have to, yeah, get good traits. All of them down here use carrots, which is good, because I have a lot of carrots, or at least had. I already traded a lot. And these one up here, yeah, just the basics on breaking stuff. I'm missing efficiency, though. And, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. The next thing I want to do is probably go into the nether, I just need to look if I have a flint and steel, yes I do, nice. The next thing I want to do after that is a pumpkin and melon farm to automate this back there a little bit, which is, I mean it is effective, but it's annoying to farm it uh, myself. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to get some quartz and hopefully, hopefully, um, blaze rods or an ender chest. We need to go deep. Um, it's, a, it's a rubbish spawn, and there is a portal. Okay, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. I spawn this extremely rubbish, and I forgot blocks. Oh god! So, <laughs> okay. I need blocks. I need. What do I need? Eh. Go. I need to see where someone was already. I mean, they were here. Did they go to the right? Yes, they go to the left. Probably also, yes. I should mark my com. I should mark my coordinates, otherwise, I'm definitely going to forget. So. Find a place where I can build a. Kind of dangerous around here, and I hope there is no ghast around, otherwise, I'm definitely going to be dead.
There we go. That's a nice way. I hate soul sand. Just cause and rough and it is everywhere. Oh yeah, and that's the change we have. We can now see lives of mobs. I don't really like that when you're standing next to a yeah, just standard cow farm and stuff. But it's probably useful. So anyway, I'm now going to check the portal. I'm not going to show you where it ends up. Where it ends up. So. Where is that? Why is that here? I don't think this is accurate at all. I'm scared to go through it. Okay, that links up. Why is it there? Okay, then I <laughs> then I am going to show you up. Uh, it just leaves me confused, and I think I really do have to. Uh, deactivate the shader. There we go. Get out. How my games are gone? I do. Break this moody. Why? Why am I like this? Anyway, let's take a little bit of the dirt with me. And oh my god, don't, don't you dare! Need your right. Okay, the goal is. Searching for a fortress. Probably already said that, but still. Maybe you didn't listen. Ah. But it's good that I'm no longer in a Soul Sand Valley. Yeah. I think I'm... Oh my... <laughs> oh yeah. That's a thing. So I decided to maybe return to the portal. Because I have... Yeah, I have realised that my armour is completely broken. I mean, I knew that it was broken. I didn't thought it would break now. So... I'm now guessing that the path I followed was... from... Gastol Giant Clan? I have no idea! Oh my fucking god. So it could be from Tall Giant Clan. So... Basically, that's uh, knowledge I have in the background. They haven't found, or I think they haven't found a fortress yet. And maybe they came from this way somewhere, where I went and decided to turn around. Probably here then. So. Yeah. Probably grabbing some bones. So, I think this is actually pretty good. I could, um, oh god, should be a little bit more careful. And with the bones, I could probably speed up the process of growing Enderman. Why did I want to look in the face? I don't have a boat on me! Anyway, uh, I could speed up the farm. Well, wait. I think that's a fortress, right? No! Fucking fuck. 
That's what I said with I need to be more careful. I I hate this. I hate this so much. Why does it have to be in salt delta? But yes, I found one. I just need to get there. Okay. I mean, I'm also here for a spawner, so if I probably just dig up the side here, and then also use such a... Probably best thing to do, mark the coordinates and then get back. So, <laughs> I'm seeing your advice. I am back in the overworld and now we have an ender chest. Nice. So, no more, uh, no more stealing out of this one. I really do like that. And the next thing is probably um, gathering all the stuff I need for the farm and then build it, so I don't have to use this anymore. I have gathered all the resources I need for the melon and pumpkin farm and already have placed the schematic behind me. Resources are in this chest and enjoy the time lapse. That's the first farm done. I'm just going to place some <laughs> seeds on the. I don't know what to call On the farmland. With annoying pistons pushing me down every time I do it, that's probably going to be a flashing lights trigger warning. But. Yeah. I'm going to spare you watching the second one being built. So. <laughs> Yeah, you will just see the end result of the second one, and that's basically it. Did I get at least everything? Yes. That's why, and this is why Silk Touch is quite good, because I can just break a little bit of glass, place a trapdoor there, then replace it later on. There we go. So after this one grows, I just need a hopper minecart there, and... Yeah, I forgot that. Um, see you after the next one's being built. And there's the melon farm. It's already in good work in progress. Why is that not moving? That's concerning. The water. Get me up there. And maybe if you can get me between the... Thank you very much. Let's push it and it's going to continue on its tracks. At least I hope so. Go get a little bit of speed and... There we go, it's zooming again. So, that's the thing I don't want to happen. Uh, that it breaks. But anyway, I already got some good emeralds out of these farms. And, Sean, if you're watching, Emerald Winter is coming. So be prepared. And I actually call it right here, because I want to do some good progress in the stream. Basically just build the road a little bit further. Across the water, I guess. And, I mean, we, as the title says, did some good progress here in the video too. Because we built two farms that will supply a lot of emeralds. We got the villager house built and the villagers moved in. And this is also a very, very important trade, the golden carrots. So, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!